Hello and welcome back for chapter 7 of The Lost Puppy. When we last left Lucky, he was with his nice man Jake and his big dog Mickey, but he still missed Christy very much. So let's find out how Lucky and Christy are making out with chapter 7. Here we go. What if someone found him and doesn't know that he belongs to somebody? Christy said worriedly, looking back at Dad as they hurried into the woods early the next morning. It was chilly and leaves were whirling in the cold wind. He's microchipped too, remember, Dad pointed out. If someone takes him to a vet or a dog shelter, they'll be able to scan his microchip and they'll call us. So why haven't they, Christy wailed. Well, maybe he got stuck in a badger hole. And Aunt Nell said that a long time ago, dachshunds were bred to chase badgers down their holes. Are there badgers in Maple Grove Park, Dad? Well, probably, Dad admitted. But I don't think Lucky would chase one. Oh, he would, Christy told him sadly. He tried to show that German shepherd who was boss, didn't he? Excuse me, someone behind them called breathlessly. Christy wheeled around in surprise. She'd been so busy imagining Lucky stuck down a badger hole that she hadn't seen the lady come up the path behind them. She hadn't expected anyone else to be there at 7.30 in the morning. Have you lost a dog? I'm sorry, I heard you calling. Yes, Dad replied, and Christy raced up to the lady. Have you seen my puppy? She gasped. Do you know where he is? A little brown and black dachshund? I saw him yesterday. I came here to do some bird watching, you see. I did try to catch him as I thought he might be lost, but he ran off again. That's lucky, Christy sighed. Did you see which way he went? She asked rather hopelessly. No, but the lady paused thoughtfully. There was a man jogging and I saw him again as I went back home. He had a little dog with him, and it might have been the same one. Someone took Lucky, Christy gasped. He stole him. He must have. Well, why didn't he call us? Dad hugged her. Don't panic. Lucky slipped out of his collar, remember? Maybe the man took him to the police station or the dog shelter in town. That's more likely. We'll go home and call them. Thanks so much, he told the lady. You've been very helpful. I hope you find him, the lady smiled. He's a sweet little thing. Christy nodded. She was right. Lucky was so little, much too little to be out on his own. He's at the shelter, she told herself firmly. He has to be. Dad put down the phone, making a face. Answering machine, but the recorded message says, Oak Leaf Rescue Shelter opens at nine. He checked his watch. Christy had been up since 6, wanting to go back to Maple Grove Park, and that was still only 8.30. It'll take us about 20 minutes to get there, he said thoughtfully. Let's go, Christy said, grabbing his hand and starting to pull him towards the front door. They sped off in the car, Christy waving to Mom and Anna, who were watching from the front door. Anna was really missing Lucky, too. She'd been up almost as early as Christy had, and when Christy and Dad got back from the woods, Christy had found her little sister sitting in Lucky's basket, looking confused and sad. As they drove through town to the shelter, Christy leaned forward, her fists clenched so tightly that her arms ached. Relax, Christy, said Dad. You're not making us go any faster. The shelter doesn't open for another 15 minutes. Anyway, we're almost there. Christy was out of the car the moment they stopped in the parking lot, and she was off, running towards the doors of the shelter. But it was still locked, and she rattled it uselessly. It's only five of nine, Dad called, following her across from the parking lot. Christy paced up and down as they waited outside, checking her watch every 10 seconds or so, certain it must be nine o'clock by now. At last, they saw a figure come towards the glass doors, and a young woman smiled at them as she put the key in the lock. Christy hung on to Dad's arm as the woman swung the, swung the door open. Good morning, she said cheerfully. Have you come to adopt a dog? 
Dad shook his head. I'm afraid not. We're really hoping that our puppy is here. We lost him yesterday afternoon. Oh, I see. The young woman looked doubtful. I haven't heard about a puppy being brought in. She saw Christie's face fall and added quickly, but I wasn't here yesterday, so don't take my word for it. I'll have to check with one of the others. Come on in anyway. She led them into the reception area. Christy could hear the noise of barking from down the hall that led into the main shelter area. She strained her ears trying to hear Lucky's sharp dachshund bark, but it was too hard to pick out. And there was a clang of metal too, which she guessed was the food bowls being put out. There's nothing on the computer about a new puppy, the woman was frowning as she tapped on the keyboard. Let me go and ask Lucy. She's the manager and she was in yesterday. Christy swallowed. It felt like there was a huge lump stuck in her throat and she was fighting back tears. Dad, where can he be if he's not here? She whispered, choking on her words. Don't get ahead of yourself, Dad replied, hugging her. He might be here, but he didn't sound all that hopeful. A dark-haired woman came into the reception area. Hi, I'm Lucy Barnes. Andrea said you're looking for a lost puppy? I'm really sorry, but we didn't have any dogs brought in yesterday. None at all? Dad asked worriedly. Where can he be then? Christy asked, giving up the fight with the tears and feeling them trickle down her face. It may take a couple of days for him to get to us, Luck, Lucy explained gently. Don't give up. Someone may have found him, and they could be holding on to him because they're trying to find the owner themselves. That man might have stolen him, Christy sobbed. The lady said she saw a man carrying a dog. Let me write down your phone number and some details about your puppy, Lucy suggested. Then, if someone brings him in to us, we'll get right back to you. Thanks. He's a dachshund puppy about 15 weeks old, and he's brown and black, Dad explained. And Lucy typed the details into the computer. His name is Lucky, Christy gulped. And he went missing yesterday? Yes, from Maple Grove Park. He's microchipped. That should help, shouldn't it? Dad asked hopefully. Lucy smiled. That's great. If he's brought into the police or to a vet, they'll call you right away. Okay. Well, thanks, Lucy. Come on, Christy. Dad led her out to the parking lot. I'm sorry, sweetie. Look, we'll stop by the police station on the way back. Maybe he got taken there. And if not, we'll pick up some rolls of tape on the way home, and then we can make some posters and put them on all the lampposts. Christy nodded but tears started welling up in her eyes again. If they put up lost posters, it meant they really had no idea where Lucky was at all. Poor Christy. This must be so hard for her, probably even harder than for Lucky. It's a good thing that they microchipped him, because this way people will be able to help. Everybody wants to help a poor puppy and the people that lost him. And I'm hoping that Christy and Lucky will get together soon, don't you? Well, stay tuned next time for Chapter 8. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet so you don't miss the story. Bye now.